Hey, how's it going? Today we are back with the Evo 13.5 gallon saltwater tank. As you can see, we still got our clowns. We're doing good. This is just kind of an update video. And we're going to be adding a circulation pump or a wave maker, whichever you prefer to call it. Um, something I found on Amazon. Nothing super special. Um, snail right here. We got a couple shrimp. We added a cleaner shrimp in addition to the peppermint shrimp. The cleaner shrimp is back here apparently somewhere. And we added a goby. Uh, an emerald crab, if you can see him right there. I was just cleaning the inside glass of the tank, so it's pretty stirred up right now. I like to, to do that, kind of get in the substrate and kind of sift it around a little bit. And then I'll let it run until the water kind of clears up and then I'll take the um, poly filter and toss it and cut a new piece and put it in there so it traps everything that I stirred up. Um, but yeah, there's our emerald crab. He's really cool. He does a lot of cleaning. That guy is busy all day long. It's crazy. Um, we have a fish that we refer to as Doug. Doug is a fire fish. And that might be possibly the back of Doug right there. But he is... A very shy fish comes out periodically to eat and that's really about it as you can see there is one of the cleaner shrimp that is the cleaner shrimp and there is a peppermint shrimp in here somewhere there's also two hermit crabs that we added uh, apparently I didn't do a super great job getting the algae off the glass back there there's a lot of rock in here. There's a couple spaces where it's a little tight to the glass to try to get in there and clean it. Um, let's see if we can find any of the hermit crabs. There's two of them in here. They can sometimes be hard to find. Uh, there's the two clowns. Uh, I'm really not sure where they're at. They're in here somewhere, though. Uh, up here I got two VCA random flow generators. That's the specific kit for this tank. If you go on their website, you can select buy the tank and then it brings up this kit. It's two quarter inch um, lock lines. So it's pretty cool. I've upgraded the the pump for the tank, I think I said that in a previous video, that's the Cichet Synchro Silent. Uh, I can't remember, I think it's the 1.0 if I remember right. I've got the box right here, let's see what it is. It is the Cichet Synchro Silent 1.0. It's a very good filter, it's very quiet. So with that, I may swap that and just put a half, one single half inch with like uh, two or three pieces of lock line. Because I th think that the quarter inch is probably actually restricting it. I think if I went half inch, it would probably get a bit more flow than what it is. Oh, there's our fire fish. That's Douglas. Let's see if... Uh... We can get him again. He might come back out at some point. But all right, we are going to be adding a wave maker. Emerald crab again. Back in there. Emerald crab. And we're going to be adding a wave maker just to get some flow up in this tank a little bit. And I focused on that cave because Doug was kind of sticking his head out a little bit. And you can't see it, but my um, cute little cat, little bit, is right off to the side of me. He loves messing around and exploring the fish tanks. We 
just have to try to keep him out of them. <laughs> so um, as far as lighting, this is completely stock. Um, I'm not running the foam pad in the back of the tank. I went with two in-tank chambers, chamber one and chamber two. Uh, that seems to be working quite well. I haven't had any real issues with the tank, loss of life, nothing like that. All right, so anyways, here is the pump. Found this on Amazon is the high door Coralia circulation and wave pump. Um, it's 240 gallons per hour. I think this is the slowest one that they had in this product family. So we're gonna add this to the tank and hopefully bump up the circulation a little bit and help it out. Oh, there's the peppermint shrimp. Right there. Very cool. So Doug keeps bumping in and out. He came out at the same time the shrimp did, but he went back in just as fast. So, let's check this out. Like I said, 240 gallons an hour. I don't remember the price. I will put a um, link in the description. It says you got a timer compatible magnet, anti-vibration. I like that this one you were able to kind of direct it. Um, that's it, pretty basic packaging. So let's pop it open and see what it actually looks like. All right, so here's the wave maker. It is relatively small. It's got a ball mounting, ball mount on the back of it. As you can see here, here are the two magnets. It looks like both of the magnets have a ball socket. So it looks like you could use them either way, inside or outside. And then there is a type of, it's like a flexible line, like a conduit. At first I thought it was an airline, but I was like, wait, this didn't show any type of airline. And it's got instructions, but who reads those, right? All right. So my plan is I'm probably going to put this thing right about in here and have it blowing across this way. So let's get to it. Okay, we're back. We got the uh, high door circulation pump wave maker installed. Got it up here. Kind of blowing across the top of the rocks. You can see the all the water agitation it's good for gas exchange i also redirected the nozzles up a little bit for the uh random flow generators and um it looks good now i will say the first about five seconds when i plugged this thing in it made a horrible squeal but it immediately stopped and it has been dead silent since then so that's a good thing, I guess. Um, I notched the top of the lid so that I could get, you can see my finger over here, I can get the cord through the top of the lid. And then I just used like a little uh, uh, cable uh, thing to hold the cord back here. Um, I may adjust that later, but that works pretty good. Keeps it kind of clean looking, other than it droops a little. I can tighten that up, no big deal. Uh, but other than that, everything looks good. Though. I think the clowns actually prefer more movement because they are a lot more active. They used to just kind of hang out over here in this corner up by the nozzles. They didn't really swim around much, but uh, I'm seeing a lot more activity out of them. And you can see it's really stirred up some stuff in the tank so hopefully we'll get a little better filtration ultimately uh, we're looking to put some uh, corals in here we're not really sure which ones yet we're still trying to figure it out but basically everything that I've seen says if you want corals you got to have flow and we just really didn't have that much flow with just 
just the C-shaped pump. I mean, it, it's an excellent pump, but everybody that I've seen has corals has a wave maker. So there we go. We have added the wave maker. We're one step closer to getting the corals. That's the uh, ultimate goal for my wife. This is her tank. She told me one day that she wanted clowns and that took us down the spiraling path of saltwater fish and all the expenses included with it. It's been a fun journey though. So there you go. It seems to be working fantastic. I remembered uh, a couple of reasons why I got this one in particular. I like that it had the fish guard around it. You know, the fish and the shrimp, nothing's going to be able to get into it. So I don't have to worry about that. I liked uh, that it was suction cupped, it had the ball mount, so it was a little more maneuverable. And um, really the only downside is the power cord is on the inside of the tank, but we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully we don't fry anything. Um, but so far so good. We'll do an update maybe in a couple weeks, let you know if it's still running dead silent. I mean, this I'm, my head is right here. This thing is literally dead silent. I can't hear nothing other than a trickle of water from the surface of the tank. But um, it's just a beautiful setup. I really enjoy just kind of coming home from work and just kicking back and just watching it, watching the fish, watching the, um, watching the shrimp and everything. I really enjoy it. It's relaxing. So there you go, there is the high door circulation pump 240 gallons an hour it's definitely kicked up some water movement in this tank all right that's going to be it for this one if you're looking for one i'll put the description in the uh, uh the link in the description and you can check it out for yourself i bought it off amazon it was fairly cheap i don't remember the exact price but i'll put it in the description have a good one we'll talk to you later